okay? We only get it for a second or so, but it's there, right? We're getting the timing right. We start marking the wrong things, then she's gonna start doing the wrong things. Everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and we have Shock. We're back for another update with this little girl. Uh, one of the things that we want to specifically talk about is raising a puppy. Some of this stuff gets overlooked, okay? First of all, she is a puppy, folks. We literally follow her around everywhere, and I was just like, what? Why are you chewing on the fireplace, okay? It's just what they do. They're exploring everything with their mouth, they're rip-roaring ready to go, and they're in that stage where they're puppies, okay? That is, that is just the things that they do. So what we're trying to do is incorporate training, and we're gonna show you how we're working through her training. This will literally be her third session. I did one session in between this and her last video. If you didn't see her first video, you need to go back and watch that one, okay? so. We're gonna show you the training session and then I'm gonna show you some of the other things that we're doing to encourage her with proper play and this stuff, right? This biting and whatever else, we're gonna show you how we work through those things as well. The biggest thing that you can see is I'm not putting a whole lot of emphasis on it and we're going to go towards other things. Now, at some point in time, there is going to be a level of correction involved with that, but at just seven weeks old today. Okay, so just seven weeks old today. She's not even at the age that we would truly be sending a puppy home. If she, I mean, a standard puppy from our program doesn't go home until after eight weeks old. So she's still pre that. We're gonna start with her training session. She's ready to eat, it's the afternoon. This is not something we've worked on, folks, at all. This is just what she's doing this second, okay? We are still charging the clicker right here. Keep her out here, right here, right here, sister. Good, this little girl likes to eat. You can see that, very driven by food, which is important. Good, good. Getting those marks in there, right? Just clicking, keeping her feet down. Not really positive, negative, nothing, just moving her manually. Like, get your feet off of me and then we're gonna work through this. We can keep her down here at this zone. This is perfect. Now we're gonna start mixing it up a little bit, okay? Here, we're still marking the same things, still charging that clicker because I don't believe we're 100% there, but we're actually developing behaviors at the same time. You see this? She's focused on me. We're kind of working on that targeting here while we're still charging the clicker. Um, good, good girl. Now some other things that she's gonna need to get comfortable doing um, is getting on dog beds, right? My timing for this, so you guys are paying attention, is marking the eating of the treats themselves. We're still essentially charging the clicker. Good. It's working through a lot of different things all at once. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Tons and tons and tons of focus. Now, I would say normally we would do a little like, what happens if she wanders off, right? And I click the clicker. I don't believe she's gonna wander off. She's gonna start jumping at me and get more pissed that I'm not feeding her, okay? Right? Ready to eat, okay? <laughs> Good. Essentially there, what did we do, folks? We marked her stuffing all of that crap. The jumping on me, the whining, the little bit of whimpering, the excitement for the training session, the anticipation of getting the food. Come on, come on, come on. Go ahead. Now, a little bit of update on her progress. First two nights, those were rough. We were every hour and a half to two hours letting her out to go potty, 
We have done nothing. We don't set alarms. We let her wake us up and we let her tell us, hey, I need to go potty, but we can trust. We've let her out beforehand. Um, every time she's going in her crate, she's quieting down faster and faster and faster. Um, last night was really good. I think she got up at 11.30. We went to bed about 9-ish, 9.30. She got up at 11.30 and then slept until 5. So it was, uh, yeah, it's a big change and that's night number three or four. So things are going really, really well in that respect. Her meals are looking like this. She's getting at a minimum a handful of clicks, but not really to this full extent. We aren't doing it every single session. She does get to eat a little bit out of a bowl, but that's because of this, right? What am I seeing? A food monster. If you have a food monster like this, super willing to train all the time, you can give a free meal here and there. If you have a dog that's lacking motivation, we need to show them that things are earned. Things are not given to you. This helps develop better work ethic. Good, come on, come on. There you go. Good. Her potty training has also been. Potty training is going really well. Stupid well, actually. You know, little itty bitty puppy, I would expect quite a few accidents still. And it's not the case at all. She is, uh, she's had one potty accident in the house and that was, I, she finished eating and I wasn't paying close enough attention because I put the rest of her bowl down and she ran over and pooped, right? What goes in must come out at this stage and I was the one to blame there, 100%. And other than that, she's been really clean in her crate. She lets you know when she needs to go potty. Now, every time I put her in a crate though, she cries. It's not for very long anymore, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 at the most, but I don't even think we've ever reached 20. It's more like a five, 10 minute thing. Um, really, really, really showing good stuff. Good. Now we can start to move away from this a little bit. We're actually developing that targeting. There's no food there. So it's coming after the fact, hey. Good. Good. A little bit of variable reinforcement there, all right? She did a really good job, so we'll give a couple extra. Good, lots of variety. When we do training sessions, um, it's, a, it's one of those things that we don't want to do it just one time and go like, oh yeah, we got the results, right? We got her, she sat down, she knows sit now. It seems like we get a, a fair number of questions or have more recently here, um, specifically regarding, you know, I did this or I've been working with my puppy for one of the most recent, like four or five days, or I'm, I'm on a week, right? When are they supposed to respond 100% to what I'm asking? Like, well, maybe by the time they're two <laughs> years old. Um, it's, it's just one of those things that it's gonna take a constant level of repetition and development, and the more patience and the more time you put into it, the, the better off things are gonna go, the faster you're gonna get there with everything. We'll ask for something different. As well as generalizing that training so that you're not just expecting them to listen in training sessions. Let's see what she does. We're gonna move into just a small amount of free shaping here. What is her response? That uh, wasn't like something super exciting that I was looking for, but what did she do? She just stood there and looked at me. That's fantastic, folks. What is that? That's a behavior that we ultimately, like that's one of the number one complaints that we get from people or questions, right? How do I get my dog to stop jumping on me? Well, if we're, well, we're halfway there. We got a little whine, but kind of a sit type thing that was almost loading, I'm guessing, but we interrupted the behavior of the jumping. Good, she's getting rewarded for standing, right? You see how cool that is? What is she doing? She's not jumping. That's it, right? She's standing. Now she's sitting. Okay, that was loading-ish, but we marked it. We stopped it, interrupted the behavior. Ah, that was bad, Ethan. Ooh, that was bad. Good. We've got a few left here. We're gonna work through this whole one. Do you see that? 
how cool is this little puppy in this training session? This is the kind of stuff that I want to see you guys trying. Okay, we've got uh, our online dog training communities through Patreon, right? Patreon.com slash Standing Stone Kennels. I want to see you on there. We're set up to be able to actually review your training sessions just like this. I want to see you doing stuff with your puppies, teaching them different things, trying stuff, generalizing that, and then proofing the behaviors and showing, look, we can do it here, we can do it there, we can do it all over the place. She's sliding a little bit. Looks like she's sucked in a little bit of air. She's kind of puffed up in her belly. We're gonna let her walk around a second here. Eating too fast almost, probably. You can see that little bit of a bulge in her tummy. Okay. We only get it for a second or so, but it's there, right? We're getting the timing right. Now, if we start marking the wrong things, that's where timing is so important. We start marking the wrong things, then she's gonna start doing the wrong things. So you need to have your timing right. There, she's getting a little frustrated. I'll give that to you, right? Good dog. Good. See how much of a change in one single session we've been able to make. Good, I'm gonna give you this jackpot. We're just gonna dump it right out here on the old Coranda bed. Okay. Spreads it out. Spreads it out, slows her down a little bit. Last thing I'm gonna talk about is a couple um, little things that we're doing. Um, everybody wants to play with their dogs, right? Playing with your dog is super fun and important. I'm gonna show you um, first of all, we got these new flip toys. She is not ready for this, but this is going to be one that um, in the future I know that she will like. They have different sized ends. She's actually been picking it up, carrying it around. This is the one that she's been playing with? Okay, well, that's the reason I grabbed it, right? It's, uh, this is the, basically, folks, at this point, um, Shock's favorite toy is this one that I've got in my hand right now, okay? Um, this is a flip, we've got them on our website. The dogs all really like this because they can hold it down, they can flip it over, they can hold it for themselves and it gives them a zone to be able to chew on um, as well as there's different sizes. It's, it's a lot of cool variety, okay? Having accessible chew bones but rotating them. This is the important thing. This one is out for a little bit, then there's another one out for a little bit, and nothing gets boring then if they're constantly in a rotation. So add some variety, have a handful of things. The next is something like this can be a really fun little tug toy. And after she finishes eating, I'm gonna show you kind of the games that I play with her and the way that we interact that doesn't involve rolling around on the ground and encouraging bad behavior. We're gonna show both, okay? Um, it's it's something that definitely she's struggling with like about any puppy will. If I get down on the ground with her, she wants to jump on me and then she's biting my arm. I just laid down on the ground for a second and was like, hey cat, uh, will you try and crunch my back, right? You know, it's like, here, just push on me. And she runs up and, you all right? Ah! You okay? She said, yeah, I'm fine, come on now. So. Um, this kind of toy, we can encourage the play and the biting to happen out here, away from us, right? This is then can encourage a little bit of tug. Now, there's occasionally a time, she says, I just ate, I'm full. We should have started with this, Dad. You know, and that's an okay thing to evaluate too, right? At this point, she says, Training session was big. I'm only seven weeks old. I am ready to drink a little bit of water maybe and then probably be done for a little bit. No, no, no. She says, I can kill this thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, see where the jumping and the biting and all of that activity is happening, right? She's out here, she's chasing this. There's a lot of things that are wiggling around and those stimulate her prey drive and desire. And if we keep that out there, it's fun. If she gets out of hand and comes up to us and starts biting hands and things like that again, 
Um, at this early stage in the game, we can redirect focus. Keep it over here. These are things that are okay to bite. This, not okay to bite. We don't pull it away. Uh, we don't make it the game of here, chase my little fingers around like this octopus, right? That's a fun game. Oh no, don't do this puppy, okay? Your hands end up being the same thing. Turn it into this. She said, I found some of those things I hacked up. She's gonna stalk us. She's gonna stalk us, I bet. Well, we're gonna make another video that's all about playing here, but I wanted to touch on it just a little bit because it happened right before I started doing this that I was like, ah, oh, this will be great to talk about. Good. There you go. There's a little squeaker in there. What we talk about with squeakers specifically is when you start seeing a puppy um, get a hold of those squeakers and squeak, 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 squeak. They know how to find them. They know how to squeak them. That's when you need to make sure that they're all gone. A squeaker in an original puppy toy, like for the first week or two, first month or so, depending on the dog, is okay. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. There you go. And then pet her and love on her while she's chewing on that. Say, look, see, this is a good thing. You can chew on these things, not these things. Dancing phalanges, right? Keep those out of the mouth, okay? Um, folks, I think that's all we've got time for with this one. There you go. Have fun. Oh, have fun. Take it away. Uh, I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Shock. We've got a bunch of cool videos that are going to continue to come out as we update you with her progress. Stay tuned. One of the next ones that I think you're gonna really like is all of the things that we got in preparation of her. So be watching for Shock's next update. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.